Alright, welcome back. Alright, let's just go down here. I think I'm just gonna stick with the quest that we've been doing the whole time. As I've said in previous parts, it seems to be that for each new town that you visit, not just like the little camps, but each town, because this is a different town to Plainsong, etc. It appears that there are like a hub area for quests, and there's normally uh, like a main a main quest line for that specific town and it just adds a bit of backstory to the characters because i guarantee most of these characters are going to come into effect at the end of the game there's going to be a big fight or something or it there's got to be it's got to be similar to horizon zero dawn where all the characters that you've met across the way come into battle at the end but i'm pretty sure with that it was purely based on it was purely based on if you don't quest for them, they show up in the, the end game. But I don't think they make a significant difference. There's only one end and throughout the game on Zero Dawn. And as far as I'm aware, there's only one end of this. That attack is set. I didn't realise you could attack these. Oh my god. That's awesome. Okay, that's handy. I'm probably going to use that on one of them. One of those little enemies over there. Let's go, bitch. Holy shit, that's so cool. That is awesome. What I'm gonna do, each new town we discover, try our best to just do the quest line for that area, add a bit of backstory, a bit of depth to characters, and it's also added storyline rather than just having to collect a bunch of things. Draco and Yara are already here. You're their commander. You can stop this. She can try. You're here. And I thought you didn't care. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Oh, shit. Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Oh no, I've really got a pick. Stun them both down. Let's do that. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it! You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Not for once we agree! Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. Oh, you kidding me? I think I'm going to side with Draka. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. This isn't about Draka conspiring against you, Yara. It's about your people. You lied to them about the wound. You also said their survival is all that matters. Was that a lie too? If it wasn't, then stand down. Give Draka a shot at command. It was no lie. Which is why I'll never hand over command to the likes of him. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? 
Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Draka. Even numbers. I'll take no joy in fighting either of you. New rules! We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. They spotted me! Oh boy, have I been looking forward to this. Oh shit. This is where the fun begins. Oh shoot. I have to get on my made the wrong choice. There's barely no way to resolve this. You gotta be kidding me. Oh shit! Come on, bitch. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Hold your horsey boy. Whoa, whoa. You really thought you could do something? No really, more. bitch? Oh, oh, okay. You did do something. You you really fucking did do something. You just stay back there. Get away! Get away! Get back by the... Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. That character is so OP. Wow. Oh, I didn't expect it to happen like that. Yeah, let's go. Go, go, go. Let's get rid of him first. Oh my god. There is no way he should be able to throw boulders that big. There's no way. Hey, come on. Go for the head. Should have gone for the head. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Oh shit. Oh no, oh no. Come on. Okay, we've got him with half health. We can do it, we can do it. He's nearly gone. He's nearly gone. We can do it. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Stop with the fucking news. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, actually, dogs have this side. Okay. Okay, so we got rid of the big dude. That was the one that was causing the problems. Let's go for these little shitheads. Where are you? Oh my god. Oh, you kidding me? There's another one. There's another one. Why? Why? Let's go, bitch. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, at least I know their attack pattern now, so it should be a bit easier. Come on, bitch. Come on. There we go. Yes! Double team and double penetration. Get him. Get him, boys. There we go. Oh, no. I thought that was an explosive barrel. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. This video isn't going well so far. Oh, no. Catch his hands, boy. There's a lot of punishments and it's just health isn't going down. Okay, that's another one. You, you're not gonna win. Point proven. You're just not gonna win. Now where's the other person? Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> you, yeah, buddy. It's over. <laughs> well, you're going to make me wait around? didn't need to do that. Akaro didn't, and Regala bit him in the ass. <sighs> okay, so... What's the plan? The wound still doesn't have enough water for everyone. I'll gather the leaders from all the desert villages. We'll figure it out. For a second there, you sounded like a real commander. Your confidence is inspiring. Here, take this. My thanks for what you did here today. 
You didn't have to get involved. I won't forget what you did, Desert Flame. Not gonna lie, I got involved for the XP and the loot. Oh, warrior bows are quick firing short range bows, unlike any other bow type. They deal maximum damage even when not fully drawn. Oh, I mean, I'll probably never use it. We'll make sure Yara gets the respect she deserves. All right, so, oh shit. 20 skill points. Wow, Um. okay, I really haven't been paying attention to how many skill points I've got. Right, I think I'm just going to put everything in each skill tree. Red Shard, uh, Resonator Builder. Uh, yeah, go for that one, Melee Detonator. I think I'm mainly going to go for stuff that's offense based because obviously my stealth is abysmal. For someone that loves stealth games, I am all flat. So shit. It's weird because I can play through the Splinter Cell games and have no problem. Metal Gear Solid games as well. But in games that aren't purely stealth. Yeah, in games that aren't purely stealth based, I'm just absolutely fucking dog shit. I don't know why. Range Master. Oh yeah. I completely forgot that. In the skill trees you need to get the certain set of skills surrounding the actual area. Uh, and then it unlocks um, the Valor power up. Okay. Uh, triple Shredder, Shredder Gauntlet. Wait, is that. Does that give us a new weapon? Okay, Bouncing Bomb. Yeah, go for that. Okay, so we've still got three skill points left, which is. The amount of skills I've just bought then is a crazy amount. I really need to start paying attention to when I actually. Receive skill points because we're level 17. I've just spent 20 skill points. I guarantee now. I mean, I might not use a lot of the skills that I've just bought, but they're there if I ever want to change up my playstyle. I mean, if you have a look. Can we go here? Okay, so go to the bleeding mark. That's the side quest. Need to really stick with the main quest now. So the broken sky. It's actually quite local. Okay. Okay, and ammo that deals fire damage is now available in your inventory. Oh, we got like a water-based arrow, and now a fire-based arrow. Okay, uh, le level 17, so we're literally borderline, like able to do this quest that we want to. But normally that is a minimum requirement, so this could easily be very difficult. It could easily be very difficult, but. It is what it is, we're just going to go for the game as we do. If I die multiple times, it'll be edited out. Because I don't give a shit. End of the day, I'm having fun. Hope you guys are having fun watching as well. If you're not, then obviously. That's a bummer on my part, because it takes a while to record and edit videos. Say what's surreal, the fact that I'm actually able to do this now and record and upload on the channel because... Loma dudes. She struck a blow to us at the embassy. This much is true. But we are made of steel. We will not yield. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaru. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, 
if you like, on the way to the chief. Okay. These visions, you said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones, who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. Let's go, bitch. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. Her armor is so cool. All right, let's have a look at these. I know they're optional, but we might as well watch the visions. It's got to be about, you know. Oh, hang on. It's glitched, incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as as best we can. Okay, hey, let's activate it. Joint Force 10 active. Led by Kamara. These chaplains were the battle. The Ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the Chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, let's go for this one. These are really interesting how they view the past. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Okay. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. We must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They uh, seem a little... 
stream? They take that as a compliment. I don't know if it's because obviously there was a conversation going on, but it's a bit unusual like it wouldn't let me scan it. Uh, might as well have a little looky looky round, see what there is. I think this is the last one. These are pretty fucking cool though. You gotta admit they are fucking cool. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. You know what I would love? I would love to absolutely see Horizon game of when the world just started going to shit. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. That is a radio, my dude. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who'll risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons, and honor those who fell. That is our way. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Okay. I think this area so far is absolute favorite for armor and face paints. They just all look so damn cool. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I want to look around more first. As you will. I'm not ready. So I need to scan the that data point. Waits beyond. Ready? Not yet. As you will. Let me scan the data points. There we go. Finally. Now we can go. Are you ready to see Chief Akaro? Let's go, bitch. I'm ready. Good. Come. Underneath the throne. Huh? 
I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior, and a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool root with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Yo, he's so badass. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav. He will be missed. All right, Bima dude. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, 
She hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. Fuck that bitch. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. I mean, that's fair. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the cool route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All to not respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. What did the old one say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace. 
until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised. If you succeed, speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. <laughs>